What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel What's the crack as we play an AI match or two And test out the AI with the eFootball 2023 V2.0 update So a lot of my content in the last couple of days since the update dropped Has focused on divisions and has focused on dream team against you know other players And the experience online because that's kind of you know where dream team is at at the moment I mean we don't have master league we don't have an offline mode yet we don't have anything else that we can sink a large portion of time into. Obviously, we can play trial matches and exhibition matches and stuff like that. But, you know, for the main part, I am enjoying the online aspect of the game. But how does the game hold up against the AI? I did a video a couple of weeks back where I talked about the legend difficulty AI was going to be really good, I think, when Master League or whatever it, it does be called when it comes out in eFootball is going to be like and I've, I have very high hopes for Master League based on the original gameplay that we were playing back you know a couple of weeks ago um you know I just felt that it was nice and slow I felt that there wasn't that many exploits offline usually when you play 20 plus hours of a sports title no matter what game it is you are going to see the exploit that that works and that doesn't work and I think with this update uh, eFootball 23 2.0 I feel like there's a lot of variety in the gameplay I don't think that there's much against the AI on Legend Difficulty I don't think that there's much um, you know exploits in it now obviously I haven't played 20 plus hours of it I've probably played about maybe five or six hours against the AI on Legend Difficulty on Superstar Difficulty um, but it just seems to be a more natural flowy game the only difference I think between playing offline and online uh, at the moment is the slight responsiveness that you do get improved offline obviously because you know it's obviously a local match that you're literally just playing on your console there's no uh, ping there's no latency there's nothing uh, but I do feel like that the online has kind of bridged that gap a bit when you get a five bar connection which is which is great but in terms of enjoyment of the game because that's what it all should be about really isn't it I mean we we're not playing games for any other reason I mean even me somebody that does YouTube content and is part of a community um, I mean, it's very, very, very hard, you know, to actually play the game and play any game and do any content if you're not enjoying it. And I feel like that this clip here, when I get it with Salah, compared to V1.1.4, I just absolutely leave him for dead. I get a lovely shot off by opening up the body and Neymar is making a really nice AI run in because he's expecting the follow up and the rebound. So... I do feel like that, you know, this isn't new to V1.1.4 or to 2.0 gameplay. I don't think that they've changed it too much, but I just do feel that there is a very nice balance between attack and defense. And there's more of an awareness between what the AI is actually trying to do. You know what I mean? You can see there the right back, he's making an option, he continues on his run, then he kind of stops, I intercept him, and then he's going straight back in, he's sprinting back to cover Neymar's line, keeper comes out, and it's a nice little save there. There's just a little bit more awareness, and I think that, you know, Pez, back in the day, always had a good AI balance. Like, it might have taken a couple of patches to get right, but you could have a good Master League experience. I think it was more about the content and the actual game mode itself that was a little bit tired after a while. But what about that for a pass? Catches me flat at the back. Manual keeper doesn't phase him and immobile puts it in the bottom of the corner. Really, really nice goal. Um, and yeah, I mean, when, when Master League, when we think of Master League and whatever the successor to Master League is going to be with the eFootball series, I do think that there is a lot of hope there because I feel like the AI is very suited to balancing your team, playing a separate way. I don't think any of the meta stuff really works. And online, there seems to be a big debate at the moment between, you know, the community is pretty much split down the middle as usual. Um, because obviously every time you make a change or you make a change to the core gameplay or you update things or you add things, people are going to rightly have an opinion. And obviously people that have played the game a lot are going to be very vocal about it and they're going to be very opinionated about it, which is the right way to be. If you're enjoying the game, brilliant. If you're not, okay, let's figure out why you're not enjoying the game. Or if it's not for you, it's not for you. But there always is a solution there because as I always say, you should be playing the games for fun. If it's not fun, find out why it's not fun for you. And if that doesn't satisfy you, if that answer doesn't satisfy you, or you can you know, justify why it's not fun for you and it's not something that you can rectify in your gameplay or you don't want to change your gameplay or whatever. Because I do, I do kind of really understand where people are coming from that aren't enjoying eFootball 2023 V2.0 update because I absolutely despised V1.1.4. I don't know, was it a combination of bad connections that I was getting on my internet? 
I don't know, was it a, you know, a mixture of everything that was going on? I just seem to have an absolute horrid time with V1.1.4. Um, this is a bit of messy stuff. And again, this is always going to creep into games when the collision system still needs a little bit of work. I would say that that's probably the biggest area that I think they need to focus on is the collision system. You'll see here how messy it actually does get. And it just looks ugly. It looks like it's, you know, it's really, really ugly. It's really, really silly. Um, but you're going to get stuff like that happening. You know, that's just the way it's going to be when you've got all these things coded. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, as I was saying there, that's back to my point, And it's just kind of a generic chat that I'm having. I'm not really focusing too much on the play-by-plays here. There's a lovely bit of movement here into sun. Lovely ball boom, into the back of the net. Now, this is a separate match that we played, so Lazio did end up beating us on Legend difficulty, but we are back in action here against Southampton, um, and we've got a really nice squad here to be able to beat these and just turn them over in possession and then just be going on the attack straight away. But again, you know, there's a lot, of, there's a lot to like about the AI stuff, and when I say that people don't you know do don't like this now and they don't like this experience that eFootball 2023 is i was kind of there with the game in v1.1.4 if you go back and look at the channel and look at the content and the amount of content i put up from v1.0 when i think i put up like about 60 or 70 videos compared to all the way up to v1.1.2 which was you know i, I just wasn't enjoying as much and then v1.1.4 where I didn't enjoy at all, you'll see that my content was getting less and less and less, where I just could, I was just finding myself, okay, I prefer to play a bit of Warzone tonight. I prefer to play a little bit of Pez uh, 2013 Master League, or I prefer to play uh, something that I, you know, I don't need to do content for, or I don't want to do content for. And even if I was playing Pez, look at this beautiful little uh, tricks there from Aribo. Uh, even if I was going to record a bit of content, I just found myself that with V1.1.4, I was getting slightly triggered with some of the gameplay and some of the stuff that was happening. Whereas with this, I genuinely have played, you know, maybe 10, 15 games. And I feel like even win, lose or draw, it's kind of back in a situation where I feel like I'm in more control when I put in a tackle. I feel like I'm in more control when I make a mistake. If I get intercepted at the back because I don't clear the ball when I should clear the ball, I feel like, yeah, I can learn from that. And, and that's all I want, you know, in a game is that learn from my own mistakes. Like, let the opponent beat me, let myself beat me, but don't let the game beat me by itself. Do you know that kind of way, if that makes sense? You know, if I make a mistake or if I do something stupid and I get caught in the break and yeah, it's unlucky and I can feel sorry for myself and have a little bitch and a moan about it. At least it's my fault where I can say, well, I should have cleared it. You know, if I'm looking back at my videos, analyzing and saying, sure, what was I doing clearing it? You know, I should have just cleared it straight away and be done and dusted with it. Um, instead of trying to play it out from the back, getting caught and getting a last minute, you know, game winner against me or an equalizer against me or whatever it is. Whereas I felt with V1.1.4, and I'm not too sure what you guys think about it, but I felt like we, V1.1.4 there was a lot of stuff like that where you'll see that goal there just as it segues perfectly into a point as if I'd have planned as Southampton get a goal back. There's a lot of stuff there that happens where you just feel like there's a couple of bobbles, there's a couple of interceptions, there's a couple of different things happening that you don't really feel like you're in control of things. Whereas I feel in V1.1.4, that was more prevalent. It still happens. I mean, look, it's a video game. Stupid stuff are going to happen. I keep saying that all the time. There isn't a video game out there in the world ever. I don't care if it's Red Dead Redemption, if it's GTA, if it's Spider-Man, if it's The Last of Us, if it's Halo, whatever it is. Stupid stuff happens. I've seen glitches. I've seen bugs um, in every game, especially sports game. NBA 2K is notorious for it. There's a load of stuff that people cheese in that and glitch in that and speed boost and all that sort of stuff online. There's a lot of issues, but it's still a fun, enjoyable game that you can actually get something out of. And it's, you know, it doesn't happen often enough that it's game breaking. And I think it's the same with eFootball at the moment is that there is a lot of stuff happening in it. It's not going to be for everyone. I do think that the gameplay, you'll see me here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. You'll see here that my kind of play style, I feel is well rewarded in this latest update because I'm all about getting the space on the wings and then beating the man 1v1. It is harder. I think that they've simplified the gameplay. Look at that for a chance. I think they've simplified the gameplay in terms of the AI is a little bit more assisted than where I'd like it to be. And I also think that the AI is a little bit too overpowered. That All you have to do is kind of put your body in the right position. Like, look at this here with Saliba. I just absolutely bombard into him. I think, as I said earlier in the video, the collision system, this is what happens online constantly. If you get a guy abusing this online, 
it's very, very, very hard to break him down. You know, literally, it's just a no skill attempt of a challenge. And it's so overpowered and the refs don't call it most often or more more often than not, the refs don't call it. So it can be a bit annoying. Um, this is a lovely finish there. It can be a bit annoying when that happens online. You don't notice those things as much when you're winning. If that happens to you and you're 3-0 up, you just brush it off and say, oh, that was stupid. But if you're 2-1 down last minute and you get stopped from scoring a goal or having a goal scoring chance with something like that, again, here's another issue that I always seem to have as well. This seems to be tweaked as well. But again, Roberto Carlos under the high ball. I try to clear it. I actually don't get the header. It's a knock on. And then it's kind of like a reverse finish kind of twist. And he looks like something out of... Virtua fighter there or, or Tekken or Soul Calibur. I don't know what he's what he's doing, but he's pivots his leg in such an un, uh, you know an unusual way. Um, but again, that's what I've always been saying, lads. Is that like, is there enough going on in this game that you can enjoy it even with the issues? Because every single game has issues. And for me, I think that the AI against the matches against the AI, it does show a lot of progress that they have made with the flow of the game. You know, I never really focus too much on one area of the game. Um, but I do focus on the actual flow of a game because that's what I'm looking for against uh, the AI, especially focusing on the AI on this one. I can choose to play against the AI various different ways. I can choose to play possession where I kind of keep it tight at the back. It was a lovely goal as well. I can choose to play, you know, really quick counter passing and the AI will be able to withstand whichever, you know, they're able to withstand, whichever team I'm able to dominate. Whereas online, you do kind of have to play a specific way if you want to be a tryhard and if you want to win games. Nobody likes losing. So I do think that that's kind of it. I will say, though, I still think offline against the AI, I still think that the collision system needs work. I think the core stuff that needs to be fixed, the collision system, the refs, and that kind of like over-aggressive defensive side of the game needs to be toned down in the core game itself, online, offline. But in terms of the actual AI and in terms of the actual stuff that I'm enjoying out of it, I think it is better. But let me know. I do have high hopes for the AI uh, experience when we do eventually get a mode to enjoy it. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be back soon. Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe.